I have written a poem, which I will read to you. And I dimmed the lights because the title of this poem is called Darkened. So this video has to be really dark. Darkened by Marcus Helbling. I feel her caress. That's the only thing. Her starshine, moonshine, like living one after another. It's like she smokes in my hair. I hear her scream. I come running, trying to help, but but I run closer, and she is pulled away. Faster, faster. The demon of love has enslaved me. She wasn't the one screaming. It was me. It was me. S screaming. I, I was screaming for her. Help. 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 Oh shit. Class is starting. I gotta go. White is feeling a little under the weather this morning. So you folks are going to have to be making do with me today. And we are going to be watching a very interesting video on carbon. That was literally my high school experience with substitute teachers. They never did anything. They just sat down, like, I'm putting in a film. Here's the film. Listen to that, not me. And she was such a... Mm. You know, she was such a narcissist that she's like, oh my god, I can be literally anywhere else besides teaching these dumb kids about carbon life forms right now. And you know what? That's like what she gets paid for. Can you imagine that you're only qualified to be a substitute teacher if you go through years and years of school and debt and all you have to do is put in a movie and make the kids watch on the teacher's day off? In college, we didn't have substitute teachers at all. When, if, if we showed up to class and the teacher wasn't there, we went back to our dorms and... Play Nintendo and drink whiskey underage. So, I mean, literally, like, college is amazing in that regard. But you, when you miss a class, it's like, if the teacher can miss class, why can't I just miss class, you know? It's just... And that was my poem, Darkened, by Marcus Helbling. 